What is going on? Sean Don is back with episode 8 of this weekly training series. Uh, this is the start of program 2. That's right. Uh, last program was only 3 weeks. This program will only be 3 weeks. And then I'm home for winter break. Uh, so, yeah. Definitely excited to round out this fall training uh, as best as I can. Uh, things have been going very well so far, in good shape physically, mentally, emotionally. Diet's going right, feeling strong, feeling healthy, working out some kinks along the way. And um, yeah, so program two, consisting of, uh, as you guys saw, wine and releases with that 5K. That's the main ball I'm throwing the cycle. Uh, really, the only ball I'm actually throwing, the rest I'm just kind of doing special strength drills with uh, three quarter 9K. Um, so yeah, wind and releases, horizontal stick drill, it's just two sets of this, cutting back on drill volume a little bit as I increase throws volume, because you know, you can't just do more of everything, you gotta kind of balance it out. Um, plus, most of this stuff is not super specific, so the more time I can spend doing specific stuff, like throws themselves, whether it even just be wind and releases, um, full throws, stuff like that. That stuff's more specific than doing like stick drills and um, even this progressive turn series. Like once again, it's just kind of a warm up, get my body uh, tuned in a little bit to the movements that I'm trying to feel, and then I go into full throws. Um, as you guys can see, 16 full throws per session now. Uh, the past two programs have been, I think, 10 to 12, 10 to 14 ish throws. I'm slowly increasing over time because volume really drives adaptation when it comes to at least lifting, throwing especially, I think as well, if you don't increase volume over time, then I don't think you're really challenging your body as best as you could be. Um, yeah, sure, you could change intensity over time and intensity will change over time as your body gets more efficient and you start throwing farther. But um, I think volume is a really big driving factor to progress with throwing. Um, so my volume will continue to increase slowly but surely from here on out pretty much from uh yeah like i said from here till i think about april if i recall correctly um yeah so 16 full throws with the 5k not all of them are shown because if i showed every single throw that i took this video would be 20 minutes long and most of them i mean aren't really looking you know that great just yet so uh yeah sure this is a highlight reel if you will i, I honestly just went through and picked out random throws that i you know, I just I clicked on like four or five of each of them from each session and just deleted them. So just saving time for you guys. That way you can get more meat of the video and less of the fluff. Um, as you guys saw, those three quarter 9K wine and releases are for special strength as I prepare to increase weight to a, a 15 pound next program. Um, I like to use my special strength exercises to prepare for the cycle ahead. And um, yeah more sprints and jumps general sprints and jumps this program um box jumps are new you know just a couple sets of three nothing crazy it's supposed to be like 70 percent height which i honestly don't know what my box jump max is but oh well uh i'll figure that out later this program uh, first real olympic lifts going on here clean high pull six by three hundred fifteen k feeling a little snappy um and then moving into to back squat. Uh, I'm, I'm excited to get back into uh, Olympic lifting, you know, those clean high poles and stuff like that. I feel like really help with, um, I wouldn't say specific strength, but like they're a more specific general strength, if you will. I feel like they really help teach that stretch reflex through the entire body that I feel in the throw. Um, and then, yeah, I got hit with a nice five by five squat session. Uh, on day one of this program, which I was a little bit worried about. I was like, damn, this is going to thrash me for the rest of the week. But honestly, apparently my body is in shape. Who would have thought? Uh, 140 by 5 and then 125, 4 by 5. I woke up the next day like not even really sore, not even really fatigued, which was pretty cool because I think if I would have done that in the past, I would have just been, like I said, thrashed. Um, and then more core stuff, pretty much the same as last program varied volume and intensity did it oh, wow stutter uh varied volume and intensity a little bit nothing crazy though day two same thing uh same warm-up drills so stick drills progressive turn series wine and releases all that jazz 
Um, that'll be what I'll do all program long. It'll be the same every day for throwing. Volume will change a little bit towards the end of the program, but that's it. Um, as you guys can see here, because of those Olympic lifts yesterday and the squats yesterday, things were feeling a little bit more saucy. I wanted to go faster. It's always hard to tame myself when I'm throwing the 5K because it is such a... Uh, it's a hard ball to take it easy on because it just goes fast all the time. And then the faster it goes, the faster I react, and the faster I react, the more force I put into the ball. So it's like, it's hard to really just um, take it easy and groove it in, but that's kind of the challenge of it. Um, I know a lot of people might be like, yo, Sean, why are you throwing a 5K? It's not, doesn't doesn't really transfer to, you know, like a 75, 80 meter hammer thrower, but I beg to differ. Um, I think it has its place, just like any ball, 5K through 10K, even over 10K, you know, you could find a way to make it work, just like you could maybe do something with like a 3 or 4K as a man. I think that's a little bit ridiculous, but generally I will throw 5K through 10K. Um, I will elaborate more on that a little bit later. Um, this is day two lifting, similar to before, uh, general athlete stuff, tempo circuit, two by 10. So this is more of like a true active recovery day, whereas before it was actually like conditioning and building work capacity. This is more just kind of maintaining, getting some blood flow and helping me recover for the rest of the week's training. So I'm happy to be um, no longer murdering myself with tempo circuits. Um, so slight uh, detour there, but yeah, uh, back to the throwing stuff. Um, oh, and videos today, my camera died, so I had to take it from our sports science guys. As you guys can see, it looks a little choppier because it's 160 or 120 frames per second. Um, this session three is typically one of my higher intensity sessions. Normally it's 3, 10, and 15. Those are my high intensity sessions based on how my body reacts to stimulus. Um, I could say it's just kind of arbitrary, but it just generally seems to be when my body feels best, at least technically. Um, so I go with it. I ride the wave, if you will. Enjoy the highs, embrace the lows. And uh, since it was 60 or 120 frames, you can get a nice little slow-mo. This is probably one of my best feeling 5Ks of the uh, week. Just really grooved it in nice and easy, and it honestly, you know, went, I think, a meter or two shorter than my best throw on the week, despite being, you know, like 50% effort. Um, as you can see, just these throws in general on this day three are a little bit higher intensity. Um, but that's just kind of, like I said, that's kind of how I do it. Um, yeah, I totally forget what I was talking about earlier. Oh, yeah, the 5K. No. Uh, I'll wait till next uh, next day um, to talk about that. Uh, so yeah, bounds, five by three, more general jumps. Now we're doing three reps to two reps, getting a little bit more reactive. Still figuring out though, plyometrics are never my best, you know, but oh well. Um, muscle snatch, 65K, six by three. Um, feeling decent. 65 is definitely a little bit heavy with my three rep max being 85K. And then um, dumbbell Z press, 65 pounds, five by five. Uh, this program is structured a little bit differently where I had dumbbell Z press and muscle snatch on different days. Now they're kind of back to back and same thing with the penlay row and the pull-ups that you guys are about to see, which um, gives a little bit more fatigue to the, the muscle groups that I'm working. At least I think that's the point. And um, yeah, so changing things up just a bit, this program, splicing it up a little bit, if you will. And as you guys can see, weighted pull-ups um, since I was able to do a set of 10 last program, I can bust out sets of seven to eight, uh, with my body weight, I could start adding weight. My best set was uh, 15 K or 35 pounds, three by five, which is like, damn, I've never done that before in my life. So upper body strength is coming along. Um, and as you guys can see here, just general accessory stuff, lateral raises, back raises, landmine twists. Once again, kind of similar to last program, just building up that, um, kind of base, if you will. And then, yeah, day four, once again, another day when my camera died, it was nice and wet. That's why it rained in the morning, by the way. So it's not like the, the pad was just flooded for no reason. It rained, but then it got sunny and then it got hot. And it was just a really weird mix of weather. Um, but back to an, what I wanted to say initially, I think a lot of people don't think the 5K transfers well. I beg to differ. I think this is going to be one of the balls that really helps me break through to that next uh, barrier, to that 80 meter barrier. Because when you do really hit a good 5K throw, it really is just mindless, if you will. You're just kind of reacting to the ball. You're just feeling the ball. There's no time to think. And as far as I know, that's what I imagine an 80-meter throw to feel like. I feel like you just cast the ball in on entry, and then you just react to it. There's no thinking. It's all just feeling. 
And so that's kind of what the goal of the 5K is for me this cycle. Through this first week, things were still pretty active uh, in terms of my brain thinking during the throw and identifying parts of the throw. But I can feel like, especially on day three, I could feel parts of it where it was becoming more automatic. And that's kind of what I want, um, at least by the end of the cycle. By the, you know, session 10 and then my slam session on session 15, um, hopefully I can just kind of uh, black out, let the hammer do its thing, and throw like 92 or 94, and I don't know how many meters. Um, my best this week was, I think, 87 or 88 or something like that. So um, see how I improve over time. And then um, a little bit less sprints and jumps on this day four. Um, yeah. Let me think here for a second. Uh, I don't know, sprints and jumps. It's nice to work those things in, feel a little bit more athletic. Um, hopefully over the next couple of weeks, I actually start to feel athletic again. Um, maybe I've just built up some general fatigue. Um, but I don't know. Like I said, I get to do a box jump max test, I think, in, in week three. So I'm looking forward to that. I think that'll be fun. Um, split squats, more of the same, 150K, 3x5. Felt another, another little small hammy pop on that left side. Um, Apparently, it's just scar tissue working itself out, so I don't know. Get the weaknesses out now, because, yeah. But it was fine. I was still able to go on in front squat. As you guys can see, I had three sets. It was technically a 3x5 with a plus set at the end, so the 105 kilos for 5, 115 for 5, and then 125 uh, was the plus set. So that means like an AMRAP set, as many reps as possible. And uh, as you guys will see... I busted it out for nine reps, and as much as doing AMRAP plus sets kind of sucked because it's just pure grind and grit, um, I really do enjoy them because I get to see how much I can really push my body, um, whereas like, you know, if I do 125 for five, like it felt heavy, but then i just do four more. I, my, my goal was 10. I was kind of sad I didn't get 10. Um, my grip was slipping. As you guys will see me motion towards at the end, uh, as soon as I unracked the weight and went to do the first rep, I only had two fingers on the bar instead of three, which is normal, and I couldn't like pop the bar back up and adjust, but oh well. Definitely went a little bit too heavy. I was supposed to leave one or two reps in the tank um, on that plus set, but lesson learned for next week when I have to do it again with heavier weight. Um, more accessory stuff, increased volume and intensity slightly, just to keep the body adapting. And then day five, Saturday. Oh, by the way, yeah, I didn't have anything to do on Thursday either. So same thing as how Tuesday was at an actual active recovery day. I actually had Thursday off, which was nice. Some little bit of extra rest, but unfortunately didn't help me for Saturday because of the front squats. I think the front squats on Friday definitely roasted me a little bit more than they should have because I was dumb and didn't hold back on intensity. And... Um, so legs were feeling kind of slow, body was feeling a little disconnected, and then upper body was feeling a little bit tight because of the rows from the previous day, as you guys can see. Um, plus going from like a, a wet, rainy practice on Friday to a dry practice on Saturday, my feet just don't work the ground quite like they should. Um, as you guys can see, there's some strain, but uh, overall, I mean, for how tired I was, it wasn't a terrible day. It was kind of a good mental toughness day. Um, and I think this is my last throw. That was one of that was actually my best throw of the practice, best feeling throw and also best distance. So got it together towards the end. Um, and then day five lifting, same as Tuesday, active recovery, ab circuit mobility circuit, single leg jumps, ex extensive rebound circuit, tempo circuit again. This time, doing some different ab exercises in between to keep me healthy. So yeah, new program. Excited to see how I end up. Hopefully, I can hit a nice 5K PR towards the end of it. Um, so thank you guys for watching. That's all I got for this week. If you guys enjoyed this video, share it with a friend, share it with a coach, share it with a teammate, so that way we can all get better together, and I would appreciate it. It helps my channel grow and influence the throwing community um, even more, hopefully for the better. That's kind of my goal. So share the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and like the video to help me out. Thanks for watching. Sean Don, peace and out. Goodbye.